It's Ken coming to you from Dusseldorf, York City Studios here on YouTube, and I am going to be nerding out today. Yes, that's right. I am going to nerd out over some cool things. First off, Gamescom is right around the corner, and I will be attending as press, which means I will be doing a lot of new videos for this channel. So check that out. That is coming up. But the other thing, the other thing that I am super stoked about is that CD Projekt Red is finally dropping its first DLC to Cyberpunk 2000. 2077. That's right, Phantom Liberty is right around the corner and it is gonna be awesome. I think it's gonna be really cool. Now, in honor of that, I thought I would showcase three statues from Cyberpunk 2077. The first being one that I got at Gamescom at the business area of CD Projekt Red when they showcased a demo. So I have that elusive press statue that they gave out at E3 and at Gamescom, and I have never taken it out of the box, and it's gonna stay that way too. And then I have the two statues from Dark Horse, and we are gonna open up those bad boys. Are you guys ready? Let's dive into the studio. Okay, are you ready to check out some cyberpunk statues? I am. Now before I do that, let me tell you a little bit of history. Back in 2013, CD Projekt Red launched its first trailer to Cyberpunk 2077. Now you're probably going, hey, that's pretty early, but that's when it came out. Now in this trailer, you see this hot, sexy female cyber psycho. She's kneeling down in this white flimsy outfit with her arms splayed out with mantis blades popping out of them. It looks pretty cool. She has has just went on a rager and probably has experienced a little cyber psychosis and went on a rage rampage against the NCPD Max TAC unit. Okay, now in this trailer, you also see that she's got a little silver scar on her cheek. All right, so let's cut to the future times when uh, the game has been released and you're playing V and you're going on these quests and you come across a cyber psycho that's going nuts. Right, and you have to take that cyber psycho down. Afterwards, you're confronted by the NCPD and most particularly one lieutenant that is named Melissa Rory. Now, this is the same person that was featured in the trailer. She has since joined the NCPD's Max TAC unit and is trying to convince V to take on that role as well. Nice work. You feel that back there? Feel his life leave his body? Hold up a sec. Your mantis blades. Higurashi 2013s. Weren't those pulled off the market in 69? Recall they don't play well with neural processors. Poking a part of the prefrontal cortex they shouldn't be poked at. Probably would have bought a pair myself weren't for that. Good eye. Had them installed years ago. They're very... Precise. Now, we all know what happens. V doesn't do it and moves on. Okay, perfect, awesome, cool. But it's really nice. I got this statue at Gamescom 2018 featuring Melissa Rory from the 2013 trailer. And here it is. Now, it looks pretty nice. The box is really cool, as you can see. And this is from the press center. Really nice right there. And you can even see the CD Projekt Red logo right there. Now, I will showcase a little uh, close-up of this statue as well, too. I am not taking it out of the box. It is my pride and joy. And it sells for quite a bit on eBay. In fact, I've had some friends try to sell or buy it from me. And I'm like, no, Dave, 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 Dave. You can't buy it, Dave. No, a few other friends have also asked me as well too, but Dave has definitely asked me about trading for this a long time ago. And no, it has stayed in the box and it is my little treasure. It is my first CD Projekt Red statue and I really like it. It's really cool. So I'm gonna show a close up of that, check it out. Okay, here we're gonna take a look at the statue inside the box. Again, I'm not taking it outside of the box but you can get an overall view of what she looks like. Melissa looks really good. I love just the sculpt on this. I'm gonna turn the box just a little bit so you can see a little bit from a different angle, and then I'll slowly turn it back. And the box is a great collector's item too. 
I love it. So you've seen the statue that I got that I'm not gonna open up, but have no fear, I have the two statues from Dark Horse that I will be opening up for you guys, and I am really excited about that. Now the first statue right here is the male V. Now you're probably going, hey Ken, why didn't you get the female? And that's because I have the Pure Arts female V that I will be opening up in another video, so make sure you stay tuned for that. But here we have the male V. You can see male V on the side. There he is with some close-ups of everything. Now, I do love this box because it is a display box. Like, you can see light can shine through here, and then on the top, light can shine through there as well. So theoretically, you don't need to remove this from the box if you wanna keep it on a stand and showcase it. I think that's really smart. I think Dark Horse did a really good job. Let's open it up. I am really, really, I've been waiting patiently to open this up. I've had it for a few weeks now and just been waiting for the right time to do this video. Just gonna pull this out very carefully. There we go. All right. And I'm just gonna remove the plastic. Ooh, that's loud. I don't wanna mess it up too. I wanna keep everything nice and neat so the plastic will go back inside the box. And I guess one thing I can showcase before we showcase the figure is that the box does have a map of Night City right there. Now, I don't know where Dog Town's gonna be, but you might recognize some of the places on this map. It looks really cool. Gives you a little idea of what Night City looks like. And here we go. Here is the male V statue. Check this out. This looks pretty cool. Now, I will do a close-up spin of him as well. This way you can kind of see all the details, but check out that mantis plate. That is really nice. And that's also one reason why I decided to get this V, because the mantis plate. All right, I love it. The detail is really, really good. Look at the jacket right there. This, I mean, it just looks really, really awesome. I even love, I don't think you can see it so much, but they have the little demon right there from, from the jacket as well too, from Johnny Silverhand's band. But oh, I love this. So let's do a little close up so you can get a little bit more, more intimate with the male V. Okay, here we can see the male V statue. I actually play with the female V, but here you go. Here's the male V statue. He looks really cool. Again, I did get the Pure Arts female V and I will do a video on that, but just check out the detail. Look at the coat. Now, if you could see this in like normal lighting and not my studio lighting, you would see that it has like, you know, a little bit of texture and wear and tear and uh, maybe a little oil stains or something like that. But I just really love it. It looks really, really cool. Now I know the Pure Arts Mel V, the shoes actually light up. I love that Mantis, Mantis Blade. That's why I wanted this, only for the Mantis Blade. Uh, I think it's really cool. It's really, really nice. And I actually have the uh, McFarlane toy, I believe. And I don't know why they didn't do a female V in that one, but anyways, look at that. Just sorry for the wobbly camera right there. But it is really nice. He just looks, Dope. Yeah, look at that. I love that. He looks so cool. And I'm sorry, my monopod is wiggling right there. I don't know why. Couldn't hold it still today. So it looks like the statue is shaking, but it's my monopod. I, I apologize for that. There he's there it's holding still. But yeah, it looks nice. I love this. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to bring to the stage Johnny Silverhand. <laughs> I feel like I want to I want to launch a concert right here for uh, Johnny. So here we go. Here is the box that Johnny's in right there. Just gonna rotate that around. Well, there's Keanu right there, looking dope, sick. And again, this box is really nice because it does serve as a display box. It allows light in from the side, it allows light in from the top. So again, theoretically, you don't have to open it up. Also in the background, we have the Night City map once again, which is really cool. 
All right, let's open this up. I'm gonna very carefully open it up because I don't wanna break anything on it. Just open that up right there. Open the side flaps and gently Cool shake, get it out of there. Whatever, it needs to come out of the box. Oh, careful, 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 don't wanna drop it. Again, that's loud, but I would rather it come safely than, you know, break in, you know, in the delivery. Okay, here is Johnny Keanu. All right. We will do a close-up of this so you can see a little bit more, but right there you can see he's got the nice glasses, and they are clear. It's a clear plastic so you can see his face, the tattoos, his dog tags on the front. You can see his jacket. There's that awesome guitar right there, and it looks really nice. Now, these are pretty lightweight. They are not heavy at all, but I do really, really, really love this. Now, I will show you guys a close-up of these in just one second, so just hang tight, because you're gonna see Johnny Silverhand up close and personal. Okay, let's check out Johnny Silverhand. Here we're panning up right there. You can see my Borderlands figure and my CD Projekt Red 20th anniversary mug. But I love the sunglasses because they're clear and you can see his eyes behind them. That's pretty smart. And look at the details on this guitar. It just looks really crazy. I love the arm, really, really cool just like you know what you would see in cyberpunk and just looking as cool who would have thought i'd have a keanu reeves statue and here you can see both of them and they're about nine nine and a half inches tall give or take but both really nice statues so i thought it'd be nice to talk about the other statues from Dark Horse Direct, the ones in Wave 1 and the ones that are coming out in Wave 2. Now, the first one I'm going to talk about is the female V, and, you know, I like her. I think she looks really nice. I love that stance. She looks really cool. However, I have the female V from Pure Arts, and I thought, okay, you know, do I really need another female V? But stay tuned, I will have that video coming out on YouTube soon, so make sure you give me a follow. The next statue that I wanna talk about is Takamura. Everybody loves some Takamura. And now, quick question for you guys to answer down in the comments. Did you save Takamura or did you let him die? All right, guys, so Takamura looks really cool. He is just really slick, cool, awesome. I mean, I love the details in this statue. It looks, it looks like a fine piece. I think it looks pretty amazing. Okay, the next one that I wanna talk about is V's favorite choom, Jackie Wells. Rest in peace, Jackie. All right, so here we see Jackie. He looks awesome. He looks really cool. He looks preem. I mean, he's ready to get those creds and really raise his name up to stardom. Sadly, we all know what happens. Jackie is gone. All right, but this is a really cool statue. And if you are a fan of Jackie, this would look great on your shelf, on your desk, you know, in a display case, wherever. Jackie is just one of the coolest characters that there was in Cyberpunk. Okay, we've talked about Wave 1, it's time to talk about Wave 2. And these ones I'm really excited about. And the first one I wanna talk about is Judy Alvarez. Here we can see Judy and she looks really nice. You get the two-tone hair, you get to see her tattoos, and she's in that cute little Judy pose. Now, I am considering getting this one, but you know what? That brings me to the next one, Pan Am Palmer. Pan Am also looks really good. I mean, ah, Pan Am, so sexy, so cool. I don't know which one I would rather have, Judy or Pan Am. Let me know in the comments which, you one, which one you think is better or which one you think I should get for my collection. I, I am gonna get one of them. I just don't know which one as of yet. All right, but Pan Am, I love the design. She looks really awesome. She looks really cool. And look at that figure. She's just stunning. All right, okay, that brings us to Adam Smasher. Now, Adam Smasher is double the size and double the price, but Adam Smasher does look really cool. I mean, he looks like tanked up, ready to do some damage and just kick some rear end across cross night city now i do like i do like adam smasher uh he's not one of my favorite characters that oh i have to buy adam smasher you know but he is really cool and if you are an adam smasher fan then hey this could be the statue for you 
Finally, we have Solomon Reed. Check this out. So we have Idris Elba playing Solomon Reed in Phantom Liberty, and I can't wait to play that. Now, I do think this statue does look really cool. However, he kind of has like a Nick Fury stance right there. I know he looks very serious, but I would kind of like to see him in a different pose. But maybe I'll change my mind after I play, you know, the DLC. Maybe I'll, I'll think this pose makes sense, but I kind of would like to see a little bit more action, you know, a little bit more. Maybe with the gun raised would be cooler, but I don't know. I, I'm excited. I'm glad they got a statue of him coming out. I do think a lot of people are going to go nuts over this one. It is going to be pretty popular. I'm going to show you guys a couple other things that I have from my collection. And that is the cyberpunk visor that I got at Gamescom. So this is really nice, still in mint condition. And then something else that I haven't opened up. I'm, I'm such a nerd. I could open this up, but it, you know, I do have the cyberpunk jacket that they gave out during Gamescom and E3 that I got in the business area of Gamescom. Now I have seen this jacket on one of the, the public relations people from CD Projekt Red and I do admit it does look pretty good and it is a weighty bag so it is pretty good quality. Let me tell you it does look really awesome. Now guys, Tombs, you have seen my preem figures, you have seen the male V, you have seen the Johnny Silverhand. Which one of the two do you like the best? Let me know in the comments below. Or was there one from Wave 2 or Wave 1 that you think I should get or that you think looks awesome? I don't know. I'm still curious about Pan Am and Judy, which one I am going to get. Let me know what you guys think. I'm really curious. There's going to be more videos to come. And remember, I still have the Cyberpunk Female V from Pure Hearts that I'm going to open up. So you'll want to see that Pure Art statue when I open up. So make sure you give me a follow and a subscribe here on YouTube and we'll catch you guys on the flip side and as always happy creating.